welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new this is a very exciting video because it's saturday it's 11 15 and we are picking up our golden retriever puppy wanted for such a long time now ever since we got married in august we have really wanted to get a dog we think golden retrievers are just really fun dogs i grew up with a golden retriever aiden grew up with dogs we're huge dog people so this is a very exciting day this is our first dog we're getting and i wanted to just take you guys along on a little vlog of our first day with our new puppy so we are about to pick him up we're pretty sure his name's cash his name is cash because we got his collar made and everything but we are really excited. We're just pulling up to the house right now to pick him up. So I'll vlog when we actually get him, but I literally haven't felt this happy in such a long time. I feel like I have butterflies in my stomach because I'm just so, so excited. We picked up our little puppers. Little Cash is chilling in the arms. He's ready to go see his home. He's been sleeping most of the ride, but now he's getting his second win. So yeah, it's this one. Here. He's a happy little dude. He's been pretty chill. Been in the car for like two hours. We're almost home now, so three hours. three hours. It took us a while to find his food, so ready to go home. On my skin. The Make sure little puppers. Little puppers. <laughs> We're just playing and having a good time. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. We will most likely be taking him out literally like every 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. He's a big day. He's a big day. It's a big day, isn't it? Yeah. You like the hair. We got him all these toys, but he really just likes playing with us. Don't you? You're not really into the toys, are ya? He's also really not into exploring right now. I feel like he's just liking playing, hanging out. You like that one, don't ya? You're the toy man. You like that one. Little toy guy. He wasn't liking the other one. You toy guy. Feet's here. He says feet are still superior. They are still superior. So I just took cash out. I'm very thankful that we live in an apartment complex that is super dog friendly. Like everyone has dogs here and we actually have a dog park in our building, but obviously when they're this young, they're not supposed to be around other dogs though. And so we're just trying to find other places to take him, but trying to start the house training process, which is definitely gonna be a process. He has such a sweet little personality. He loves people. <laughs> This is just the first impression. He's really a snuggler too. But we've just been taking out like literally every single hour. Actually every pretty much 30 to 45 minutes. And so I can already tell I'm definitely gonna get a workout, which is good. I've been wanting to be a little bit more active throughout the day. It's so nice that this was timed with this whole polar storm because it's gonna be like 15 degrees later this week. And obviously with taking him out, it's not as nice, but it's just kind of nice to get an excuse to chill at home and get used to having a little puppy here. I am so happy. I cannot even express just to have like a sense of responsibility for us is just so exciting. We we're trying to get him to get used to his crate over there a little bit. We were trying to feed him some treats in there. I think we're gonna feed him his dinner in there tonight because it's really good for them to associate their crate with positive things. I've watched so many dog training videos up until this point, so I'm trying to remember all the things that I learned, but he is just such a little sweetheart and keeps cuddling up. We got his AKC paperwork too, so I'm probably gonna fill that out and submit it once we figure out like an AKC name and everything. But I'm just overjoyed right now. <laughs> He's such a little sweetie. He's been napping a lot too. I took a couple of clips when he was 
taking his naps, but he's just such a little sweetheart. That is the update. I'm also sorry that this vlog is like all over the place. It has just been kind of crazy and I got so excited in the car, I forgot all the things I was gonna say, but what I wanted to say was originally, we were gonna wait until we got a house to get a dog, but our apartment, I don't know if you guys can tell on the videos, but it's pretty spacious and it's a really good layout where it's just very open. It's all really just one layout, which is really nice. And like I said, we have the dog parks. We also live by a lot of parks. We live next to a lot of parks in Dallas that we always do like our afternoon walks on. And so we just decided it was still a good time to do it now. I found the vet that we're gonna use, but there is gonna be a snowstorm. Snowstorm, here in Texas, I know it sounds so funny when I say that, but everything pretty much shuts down when there's a little bit of snow here. And so I'm hoping next week I can get him in just to do like a little checkup, even though he's all clear to come home and everything and everything looks good. They took him to the vet, I think this week, but just to get him set up with someone here, I think it'll be good and to get him on his vaccine routine and all that stuff. So I am just so excited. We're so excited. We never thought we'd be the kind of people to make him an Instagram, but if you want to follow him, Aiden's running his Instagram and I think it's just Cash Gothier if you guys want to follow him there. I just absolutely cannot wait to raise him. about the things we used to do No, you couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you Happy Valentine's Day, indulge Aww, it's a little for plate This is nice because we don't have like anything yeah. Thanks babe Of course Aww. Happy Valentine's Day Good morning guys, it is the next day. It was our first night last night with little Cash and he did so well. He fell asleep and so we put him in his crate last night and he slept so soundly, he didn't even get upset about it. You wanna go. He did so well last night. We're trying to crate train him because it's actually really good to crate train dogs. They usually like their crates if you try to train them to like it. We're trying to like feed him his food in there, feed him treats in there, make it like a safe spot. But last night he fell asleep and then we just moved him to the crate. He didn't even cry. And then he started crying a little bit an hour later. We're just having another chill day today. It's our first full day with him. It is actually snowing today. It's like 15 degrees outside. So not the most ideal for taking out a puppy every single hour of the day, but it's kind of nice just getting to stay cozy. It's Valentine's day too. But yeah, puppies are very hands-on. He requires a lot of attention, but he he takes so many naps that I feel like that's when I start to kind of pick up and get some stuff done when he takes his 30 minute naps. We just went outside and he went potty. He's gone three times today outside. So we're having a good streak. Nope, you get this instead. You want this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I also want to say that I know fiddle leaves are uh, technically poisonous for dogs, so I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do with the tree. It's obviously quite high where right now, at like his age, he can't really get to it, but he's going to get big fast, so trying to figure out what we're going to do with that. I would honestly replace it with a fake one because I like the way that it looks. It was just a gift from a friend for our wedding, so I really don't want to get rid of it, but obviously, if it's poisonous for dogs, probably should not have it. When you're getting into everything, and you get into everything. A little baby puppy is about to go outside and pee and poop. Both would be nice. He just woke up from a nap and he is ready to go out. It's so magical because it's snowing outside and we have a little puppy. And I love him so much and his name is Cash and he's the best little boy in the world. And he's our new friend. And I don't want to set him down because I know he's going to pee because he just woke up. So I'm holding him until Aiden can take him outside. He's ready. So Aiden just took Cash out and 
it is so magical right now because it's snowing so much for texas and it does snow here occasionally it usually does once a year but the thing is it never sticks because it's never cold enough to stick but it's actually going to be pretty cold all week and so it's so magical just watching it outside and seeing it stick it's just not something that happens very often here so it's really special and it's of course special because you have a little puppy um but I'm about to get cozy. I'm gonna light some candles in here. I was gonna cook a steak dinner tonight, but I had ordered groceries on Friday and they pushed it back to today. And obviously today, I don't really know if they're gonna be delivered and basically grocery stores are ransacked and I don't know if they're gonna be able to deliver them. I debated if I should just go out and get our groceries, but obviously the puppy, I was trying to make it easier by just getting them delivered on Friday, but it's all gonna be okay. We have stuff if we have to eat something. I just don't really wanna order food. And I don't know what it is, but I am so emotional tonight where I am just like so thankful. I know this is just like a puppy vlog and you're probably like, why is this girl crying on camera? <laughs> it just feels so thankful and feels so blessed. And I'm sure the puppy has brought out a lot of those feelings, but I just feel like over the past year, there was just so much unknown with not knowing if I'm thinking about Valentine's Day and thinking about Eden and thinking about just how... We've been married for almost six months now, I think. And I'm just so thankful for him. And I'm so thankful for the way that he loves me. And adding a dog to our family, I don't know why. It just makes me like think about how thankful and blessed I feel. He was texting me that he made it because the roads are a little snowy right now. There are so many times when I just like reflect on my life and feel like I don't deserve the things that I have and feel almost like guilty for just the blessings that he's given me. And last night we went and showed cash to my family and like everyone was there and the fire was going and I just, I just feel like sometimes on YouTube I share a lot of the negatives or kind of like talk about how things are hard sometimes and obviously this past year has happened a lot of hardship for a lot of people and it's just been such a weird year and we're coming up on like a year of this pandemic and everything a year ago i just never thought that i would be in this place back home in texas living in this beautiful apartment with my husband i didn't even know if our wedding was gonna happen i didn't know if we'd be able to get married i was missing my family in new york all the time i definitely didn't think we'd have a puppy right now and there are a lot of things that i miss about life more than a year ago but i just can't express how a lot of the things that i used to think brought me happiness like living in a big city and feeling really driven and feeling independent and caring a lot about how I looked. Like <laughs> I used to never put clips like this in my vlogs, I feel like. And really just like focusing on career a lot, which are all really great things. But in these moments like this where I'm here alone, have music playing, candles going, the lights are off. The things that I'm thinking about is how lucky I feel to have the people. <laughs> hey buddy. <laughs> Hey buddy. All of that is just to say that I'm very thankful for our life and I never really imagined that I'd be here right now, but I'm really thankful for this one I'm in. And I just realized that life is really about the people in your life and the small like everyday things that may not seem like a big deal, but they really do make up life. The very small, the very small mundane moments the chill saturday nights with family cuddling on the couch cooking dinner at night investing in your family and your friends and if you have a husband or a wife or a boyfriend or girlfriend all of those things make up life and it's pretty darn good it's pretty darn good and that's what valentine's day is about for me you gonna bring me my hair tie is currently asleep in the living room but we're about to head to bed so i just wanted to end off this vlog i'm trying to be quiet so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed feel free to hit that subscribe button because there's gonna be lots of puppy content coming it's definitely a fun time to join so feel free to hit that subscribe button also follow me on instagram at michelle reed because i've been posting a lot hope you guys enjoyed i will have a weekly vlog coming here soon of like our first full week together if you guys want to see that too but i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video bye friends